Wheaton's a funny little spot. It's a quirky mix of shopping and dining from all over the world. A lot of it tucked away in 1950s and 60s strip malls. Recently, I found out something interesting about Wheaton. It holds the record for something that's the longest of its kind anywhere in the Western Hemisphere. Stay tuned to find out what. Wheaton started out in the early 1800s as an area called Leesboro. It was created by the intersection of three major roads, Brookville Pike, what is now known as Georgia Avenue, Veers Mill Road, and Old Bladensburg Road, which is now called University Boulevard. For a little while, Wheaton was called Mitchell's Crossroads, which was named after a tavern owned by Robert Mitchell at the corner of Georgia Avenue and University Boulevard. Wheaton got its name from a Union general, Frank Wheaton, who helped to defend Washington, D.C. during the Civil War. Things were kind of quiet in Wheaton until after World War II when, like many D.C. metro suburbs, Wheaton saw tremendous growth. A landmark moment in the history of Wheaton came with the opening of Wheaton Plaza in February of 1960. At the time of its opening, Wheaton Plaza was the largest shopping center in the D.C. metro area and the sixth largest in the entire United States. 411,000 people visited Wheaton Plaza during its first week in business. Another important moment for Wheaton was the opening of the Wheaton Metro Station in September of 1990. It was the last stop on the eastern leg of the Red Line until the Glenmont Station opened in July of 1998. And that brings us to something that Wheaton holds a record for. At 230 feet in length, the escalators for the Wheaton Metro are the longest set of single-span escalators in the Western Hemisphere. So there you go, Wheaton's record-holding escalator. If you'd like to see my first local tourist video about Silver Spring, then click here. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel so you can see new videos as they come out, click there. Thanks for watching and stay safe.